Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. I uh, just wanted to put up this little bit uh, because it's probably the last video I'll make now for about 10 days. I'm sure there'll be a few people relieved about that. Um, but um, this buggy I've got here, this is this hydraulic buggy I've got which is half a, half a ton this lifts. And now obviously with the wheels on it, it won't lift even uh, if I get it to its lowest height which is where it is now. <clears throat> and uh, and I put a bar into it to lift the I beam up, which I'll show you in a second. It's about 12 centimeters too short, so I can't really go with that idea now, because um, the whole point is to jack it up in one in one deal. You don't want to start putting pins in and taking them out and so on. So I'll show you what uh, I've come up with now. This will this will be done when I get back. I'm leaving Saturday morning, and tomorrow is basically administration day. So. Um, I'll show you. I'm just. I've just kind of show you from a little mock-up. It's some other parts from another um, from another tool. But I'll, I'll, hopefully, I can I can show you. So, if you imagine, this is from a an oil robot. But it'll give you an idea. This is a, an oil robot I use under my ramp to stop all the oil going everywhere. So basically, you can see it has a tubular there. So I'd get these and then space them down here. To, be to above this this hole, so not with these square bits on it, just just the tubular itself, and they would be welded on there, three of them, and they, just to give you an idea. And then you can see uh, what I do is just I'd space them out, probably one there, one there, and one there, and then the tube would be welded up against that. So you imagine that can go up and down. I can't push it up obviously, but that would go up and down. And then what I'll do on uh, the middle tubular, the middle one of these, is I'll weld a bracket to it and weld a, a pulley. Okay, so if you're with me so far, sorry about this, but the only way I could rig it up. And then what I'll do then is I'll put this winch on, this little hand winch, and that will go, that will go on a plate. I'll bolt it to a plate. I'll weld the plate on first. I can either add it down here. Or it doesn't really matter. Actually, down there's probably even better. I'll probably put it down there, and then this will come through this this uh, centre. Uh, so you imagine that's on there, uh, and then it will come through a a pulley here and a pulley, and then it will attach down to the bottom of where the bar is, which is right down the bottom there. That'll attach to the bar, and then you winch it. But obviously, if you're on your own, you'd have to winch. There's two winches. And these come in about 18 quid a pot, but they're only good for 350 kilos, but that doesn't weigh anything like that, not with two of them. I mean, if you've got two people, you just crank it up, push the lock down and crank it back down again. So that's the way that's going to work. Um, yeah, so they're pretty basic hand winch, but to say they're good for, they're good for 350, 360 kilos each one so that's more than easily to lift that up um, yeah and then I got myself uh, a one ton hoist uh, that's rated for one ton so it's probably one and a half I would think they're normally half as much again which will do the job the only thing I can't find is I can't find the push uh, roller or pulley that goes across there but I'll probably get one in the UK Worst comes to the worst, I'll, I'll put a, uh, a clamp style one on it, you know, the type that has the jaws and you tighten it up. Because I don't really need it to swing left and right, but it would be handy, I suppose. So I'll probably get one in the UK. There's some stuff I need for the trailer. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's quite, it's quite a nice uh, fit around the trailer. Fits just right on it, the gantry. I think this is going to be the easiest way to do it. And then I was say I put the winch on the side, and if I put the winch on the side as well, it won't be in the way if we use it. But we would probably put rubbers on it if we're using it as a dolly anyway. But like I say, it fits real nice. I've took it front and back. The uh, there's a lot of space down the side of it, but this is actually thicker than what it normally is because as you can see in there, that's the edge of the trailer, and obviously when the sides hinge down but those hinges would stick out a little bit so yeah it needed to be that I'd say there's what probably just over an inch either side I would think that oh, might be more maybe a little bit more 
maybe one and a half inches either side, which is plenty. It's only to take the odd uh, thing off, like an engine or whatever. I'm bringing engines back uh, in the in the in the new year, and uh, and a huge guillotine that I bought in the UK. So that'll be out for getting that off. Anyway, so that's it for today. Just a real quick one. Uh, got to have a big old clean up now. I have to start getting ready for uh, the UK. Long old trip. Probably about 5,000 k's all around. Anyway, so uh, that's it. Um, I'll catch you in, yeah, 10 days. Uh, 10 or 12 days, I guess it will be. But thank you for watching in. Um, it's uh, really good. Getting lots of nice, lots of good comments and things from people, which is nice. And one of these, uh, one of these, uh, I don't know if that's going to work. One of these gantries is for anything from, you know, thousand euro to, to two well, up. You can go even further. So all in all, I guess I could, I've probably knocked it together. If you take count, discount my time, probably knocked it together for um, what? Well, that one ton uh, chain hoist, I got that on a special deal because there was one, only one left and it wasn't in a box and I, I got it for, I think I got it for 45 euro and it was uh, 60 something like, whatever it was. Um, so I'd say all in all, by the time I get the, by the, time I get the, the um, uh, roller for the, for the beam, I would probably think 250 quid, so that's not bad. Anyway. As I said, thanks for watching in. Catch you in a couple of weeks, and uh, I'll get to do a lot of videos while I'm in the UK and these all, all these other places, so you can see them, and I'll pop them up, upload them when I get back. So, take care, and uh, catch you if, in, uh, in 10, 12 days. Bye for now. Take care.